Hey, hey, Ver uh, hey, Gordon. <laughs> I never started off right. <laughs> hey, Gordon. Uh, I heard, I saw you talking to that girl the other night. Huh? Yeah. I think I like her. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Think you... She's really cute and sweet to me. And I think I got me a little crush. All right. Yeah, it looked yeah. like y'all were hitting it off. Yeah, but so, I'm not sure if she really knows, you see, so I thought I'd write her a letter, and... That's smart, because, yeah. you know, some, you know, being in person, that that can be embarrassing every once in a while, yeah, if I, you don't look... I'm a shy guy, <laughs> you know, I am, and so, well... You well, want to hear what I wrote? <laughs> Maybe you can kind of give me some guidelines. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. I I believe I I um yeah I guess I already knew about the letter. <laughs> I read it and yeah. I read it a lot, and you only well, wrote it once, so uh, see, I might know it better than you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, here goes. There, Miss Vagina. <laughs> You may not recall my terracotta war pony, but I met you at the automobile field solely by eunuch blood like <laughs> cocktail party given by a naked 60 year old man bursting into the living room and jumping out the window like friend. Lester, the leprechaun leper. <laughs> we had a billion black birds boiling baby butts in a big bowl of bubble bubble luck. <laughs> Talk about Donkey Kong too without the lotion. And pineapple butt plugs. <laughs> and I was impressed by your beef heart. Beef fart. It sounds like I just said the same word twice. Like conversation and your grasp of the like a paralyzed baby squirrel stole my tube socks and use them to swarthily thwart the Guamazi Guamese the Guamese threat from the north <laughs> <clears throat> situation <laughs> also I was very much attracted to y'all like waiting for that Guzzy tarantula to get back from the grocery store with my red seedless grapes. <laughs> Eyes. <laughs> You're like a kicking a dead man in the balls and watching a grimace come over his face as he was only mostly dead. <laughs> Little chin. <laughs> You're like fiddling my little fiddle and teeth. <laughs> if you'll pardon me for slamming taste in your mouth after eating Seeming like the human skull larger like What? <laughs> you, you didn't put like did you want to put like <laughs> You, you didn't. You wrote this letter to your. Oh, computer. you're right. <laughs> well, let me repeat uh, this over part again, if I may. I mean, I really want you to know exactly what I want to say to her. For so, seeming. If you'll pardon me for seeming like that but. taste in your mouth after eating the human skull burger, burger like like. <laughs> I was fascinated by your like a duck with a buck walk and by your swarthy figure. I hope I 
made. Uh, I've gone too long without talking about buttholes like <laughs> impression and that we can get together for a nice silky little sex romp on my parents bed with my parents present and awake next week. As if I had a vacuum cleaner bag full of gold for a head, for a head, and a wealthy white woman for a penis, Gordon Fish. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. So, Gordon, that, that doesn't make any sense. Well, I mean, you think... You sure think I like her? <laughs> it sounds like you like her, but it, it it sounds like you don't care if she um uh understands English because well, if you read that to someone that understands English, they won't understand. I'm thinking she'll see how deep a thinker I am, <laughs> and she'll be impressed, and, and she'll be kind, you know. She might be similar to me. Tell me, Gordon, why did you write it on two sheets of paper? I mean, she could be a good Mrs. Fish. <laughs> well, I mean, it's really long, and so I needed two sheets. I mean, that's really about all I can say. <laughs> why didn't you write it all in the same spot? I see you looking over to the left and then looking over to the right. Oh, well, I mean... I have a uh, this mental disorder that um <laughs> means like I have to do some things in one part and another in another part and so I mean it's it's natural for me to to look from side to side you know from piece of paper to piece of paper while I read you know it's just it's how my mind I'm I'm very left and right brain oriented individual I am. Yeah. Good luck with the girl, Gordon. Thank you very much. A secret letter from an admirer. <laughs>